thought I'd give you this recipe I had laying around. Try not to burn it. Fried eel. Okay. Let's go say hello to our babies. Um, guessing the other baby is inside. No, where did the other baby go? Um, oh, there's the other baby. Okay. Since we don't have maximum, uh, say we've got four missing pieces just because of uh, rainy days, I'm gonna go harvest four more pieces. There we go. Hold on. trying to figure out is how I want to separate this. The greenhouse is going there, that's for sure. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will have to change once we get iridium sprinklers, but for now, it'll do. Actually. 
that. We'll put the regular Scarecrow there once fall is over. Alright, let's go to Clint's. Go. Oh, fire opal. And dolomites. Nice. over here. I'll put the fire gem here and I'll put you here. So we got a new reward. A bear statue but with our mod looks like a tree. Maple syrup's almost done. Okay, so let's put you and you in there. Let's put the coal in there as well. We don't have many wild plums, so we'll stock up on them. Yeah, I don't know about... <coughs> I don't know about this layout. The reason why I like this layout is because of... You know, it allows the Scarecrow to cover all of the spaces. I'm gonna have to think on that. For now that'll do, but I don't know. So, put that away for now. Um, hold on, give me a second. So it's raining today, kitties indoors.
Come to town at 10 p.m. Let's, uh... Like, the only downside with the small coop is the fact um, it doesn't have an auto feeder, so you are manually going to have to go in and feed them every day. What I am going to do is I'm going to take. all of the regular quality turn them into mayonnaise and I'm going to sell the gold mayonnaise I just need a bit more I just need a bit more money that's all and I know that there's two corn ready Traveling merchant. To be perfectly honest, I think I'm gonna like kind of speed skip past these last couple of days apart from the Spirit's Eve. Just because I promised my friend I would hang out with her and the recording's going a little long. <laughs> But I still want to get to the end of um, I still want to get to the end of uh, the months. So, and honestly, we really don't have apart from like decorating and stuff. There's really not much for us to do. Like, I really can't start planning stuff out until uh, winter comes around and I can kind of clean things up. So, actually going to do this. This is the day of the Spirit's Eve. So... selling clay like I'll probably sell one piece eventually just to have it in my inventory have it as part of my produce because if you see collections like there's a soul essence void essence bat wing I'm sure clay is on this list somewhere give my chickies one last one to two last days of freedom before they are shut in for the winter they have a heater so I'm not worried about them catching cold or anything we'll just have a mayonnaise maker slowly chew through those.
And I think I'm going to... There's not, like I said, there's really not much we can do right now. And the town is kind of blocked off right now because of this festival. So there's not really much I can do right now. So I'm going to pause and wait until night time. So that you don't have to sit through all of this. Uh, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, it is night time. All right, I think it's 10 p.m. So let's go see if the. Um, oh, I think we I think we have got some maple syrup. Okay, cool. We'll just faff around for a couple of seconds. And I honestly, genuinely thought it was nine, uh, ten. Uh, nine. I know what I meant. Let's sell one maple syrup. Alright, so. All waiting. One, five days. One day. One day. Two days. Two days. Two days. Okay. Five days. All right, now let's go. All right, let's have a look at Pierre's shop. Rare crow for 5,000, jack-o'-lantern, jack-o'-lantern recipe, gravestone. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna buy that. I won't be able to buy the rare crop. I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, ignore that. Okay, so. Our goal is to make it to the end of the. <laughs> is to make it to here. I don't think Abigail likes spiders, which is why she's not going any closer. I do like the fact they're all in costumes. times I've done this. Okay, golden pumpkin. That sells for 2,500, which is why I was willing to waste some money on which was honestly why I was willing to spend all that money. <laughs> that's fun, like, buying the jack o lanterns but uh, that's 700 each. You might as well just buy, your, buy it and make your own. Um, Alright, go up this way. Abigail's a witch. He's, I'm guessing, Frankenstein or something. He's a superhero. I think that's Maru. He's like a bloody bride. Okay, she's a pixie. She's a little witch. He's a vampire, which is kind of a apropos. Shane's kind of the Grim Reaper. Gus is Mario, which I freaking love. Like I love their costumes. This is one of the one of the things of why the the um costume the furniture thing is the furniture thing the freaking cost the the clothing 
items is for good. I think, I don't know. Do they have those in vanilla? I don't think, I don't know. Anyway. Doesn't really matter. Alright. Last day. Let's queen a sauce it up. Artichoke dip. Did I sell the artichokes? Alright. Alright, that's it. Time to get rid of the crops. We ain't getting no more. Shrine for him, but okay, so let's bring these two up here. I want but like I said I may have to move it somewhere else oh wait I forgot I had eight of them well that works out anyway works out perfectly now I'm not gonna miss a chance to go to the traveling merchant Even though I'm kind of in a little bit of a hurry to finish this, so that my friend doesn't get too lonely. And like I said, we really have nothing else we want to, we have to do really, except if we find anything here to give to uh, the community center. Salmon, hazelnut, potato, puffer fish, milk, fried mushroom, chub, sandfish decorative bowl which I think we already have at home so let's just go give the sand fish to the community center and we'll be done with the day because with a bad luck day we can't go into the mines oh yeah I want to check on my chickies one last time before they get shut up for the winter very last honey of the season we will shove that in there So one reason why I don't um, why 
why I wait until winter to talk to the villagers. Just because I'm trying to, I'm busy doing whatever. I'll give them gifts on their birthday, but I like to, there's only so much dialogue that they each have. You know, because it's all programmed. They only have so much. And repeating it is kind of a, kind of like a yikes a thing. So I tend not to talk to them maybe as much as other people, just because I've practically seen all their dialogue before. So it's kind of, I can't be surprised by it and stuff like that. So I'll talk to them during winter, but during the rest of the year, I'm kind of busy doing my own thing. Unless of course there's one person I'm trying to pursue, like Shane. So I'm actually going to go bed early because this has been going on for quite a while and I have a friend to go hang out with and I have, you know, like I said, there was nothing to do. So that'll do it for now. And next time we will be going into winter. So, until next time, farewell my friends, and I will see you soon.